G'day mate, welcome to Captain Industry with me, Jetty. Ever since the game came to early access, I've seen many people insist, no, shy on demand, that the game should have roads. They weren't happy that their trucks just drove on the grass and made some dirt paths. They wanted roads. And every single time I just asked, hang on, I'm sure you've, you've driven your car and you've driven through roadworks before. I'm sure you've seen that the two most common bits of equipment that they have on site is an excavator and a truck. So why aren't you building roads? What's your issue? If you want roads, make roads. So today we're going to talk about roads. We're going to talk about how to make them. We're going to talk about all their effects, all their bonuses, all their pros, all their cons. And for that, all I ask is I borrow a like. I just want to borrow a like. You can have it back later on the video if you're not happy with the video, if you didn't learn anything along the way. But today, I want to talk about roads. I want to talk about roads. So with that out of the way, uh, we have our two little trucks going back and forth and made ourselves a lovely dirt path. We are, have these common everywhere, but we have an alternative. We could build a, a lovely dirt path, a gravel path, a gravel path, a road you might even call it. Or we could go as far as a highway, a highway, a dedicated highway to make sure our trucks got there as fast as possible. You might ask, Jedi, what mod is this? How do I get roads in my game? And the answer is, you make them. So, how do we make a road? Quite simply, in fact, we come out here and we dig down a tile. And then we dig a nice straight row. And then when we get to the other end, we ramp it back up. And then once the excavators, which I have none on site, I don't believe. No, nope, none on site. Come on, boys. Oh, that failed. Cool. After the excavators and the trucks come along and they dig out the trench, we can then choose to fill it in. And you can go one tile for a nice simple road like I have, or you go three tiles wide if you really want to have that highway experience. After you have that, all you need to do is fill it back in with your chosen material. Now, in the case of this one, this is both gravel, okay? Because I figured gravel, dirt paths, you know, it, it's a step in the right direction. And we might notice, especially if I can click on a truck and click on toggle navigation, I do have some ditches on either side. Okay, uh, at least for half the build, not for the other half the build. So here I filled in all three tiles to make sure I filled in both sides. Here I did not, which uh, if we remove that and maybe just pause the trucks for a minute. Damn. Uh, it's probably going to break the whole system, but it's okay. I just need the smoke to clear up. Okay, if we go into this overlay, we can see I have a little, small little trench either side uh which i think is a great cosmetic uh really adds to the look of you know water catchment on the side of the highway that sort of stuff yes at the end of the day we've seen trucks drive across it without too much of a hassle you will have a couple of blind spots where pathfinding doesn't work but majority of it should be fine as for this after they have dug their nice trench yes it is just a simple case of uh we bring this to flat flat and we fill it in either all of it or just those center tiles. Entirely up to you how much you want to fill in or not fill in. Uh, what are we going to fill this in? We're going to fill this in with slag. So it turns out these were slag. At least I assume they were slag. Not bad for slag roads. Also finds another use for your slag rather than just dumping it in the seat. Your other option is you can go all out. Uh, over here I have all the different options we have. First off, we're going to talk about trash. Uh, no, first off, we're going to turn off that green overlay. Yes. Much better. Okay, uh, first off, we have trash. I am a giant fan. I'm sorry, waste. Waste roads are not only have that really cool multicolored aesthetic look, that's about it. Maybe they'll rot, maybe they'll smell, who knows, but I like the look of trash roads. Uh, next up, we have our rock. Rock's not a bad option. So is gravel. Um, honestly, if we zoom right the way in, the difference between them is fairly minor. I guess the only difference is gravel lets the grass come up and join it. Whereas rock keeps a good dirt around the outside, a good dirt border, assuming the road is unused. I think because the road is unused, I'd prefer to have the gravel so I actually can see that, hey, there's grass up against the edge of it. The trucks are not using the road. Uh, next up, we have uh, slag crushed and slag. You'll see these are very, very similar. They're a lot darker, but at the end of the day, they are very, very similar between the two of them up to you which one you want to choose uh obviously slag is very easy to get slag crush requires you to go through an extra step and then we have the uh the slightly richer end of the town where we have uh limestone and coal now coal really gives you that tarmac look i am i do admit i am a fan of the tarmac look uh, whereas limestone is um i don't know in the town like 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 around town like 
in the suburbs. A little bit more of a posh area, maybe. And then we have those for the real, the real captains out there. The real moguls. Those that are richest of all. We have, of course, iron. Uh, plus, we have copper. And then down the middle, we have gold roads. Because nothing says rich like a captain who puts down gold roads for their excavators, their trucks to drive along. That says everything. So, the different choices are, of course, the sand. We know what sand looks like. Sand looks like sand. Sand. So, uh, after we've got these in, uh, next question is, you're going to dump sand, you're going to dump gold. Let's do a split road, 50-50. Oh, by the way, you can just have everything. Okay? You can have... Actually, no, we should... Whoop, 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 whoop. We should talk about how to make sure the trucks are only going to dump the items you want. We should probably talk about that really quickly. So... What I have is up here, I have nothing is allowed to be dumped. So the trucks are not allowed to dump rock, stones, stone, rock, dirt, sand. No, I can't remember what the default items are. Trash. They can't dump anything anywhere. Okay. To enable them to dump things like trash, I have a mine control tower that's on a dedicated network. And the only thing that can be dumped here is, is waste. Okay. If they want to dump dirt or rock somewhere, there has to be a, an accompanying mine control tower that is set to dump those items so i have some tower somewhere on the map i don't remember where that's assigned to do rock and dirt and slag and all the other things in the case of this one this is only allowed to do sand and in the case of this one it's only allowed to do gold this is how i exclude the items now at the end of the day if you want to have multicolored trash piles in your roads that is perfectly fine uh, we have some copper we have some gold we have some iron we have some coal we have some sand there might be some slag in there too we got some trash you can go multicolored if you really feel like it it's entirely up to you uh or whether you want you know a chosen aesthetic so i want to dump this whole area and yes we did that by digging down and then we're just going to set the trucks up to dump uh same with this one we oh no we dumped anything bad trucks Oh, where's my slag pile? Because uh, it's assigned to a tower. Assign you to that tower. Advance logistics to the win. Okay. So let's remove all that. And we'll do this one in half-half. Uh, we'll do that to there. And we'll do that to there. It will take them a second to do all the dumping. Because there's lots of pathfinding going on. And lots of five trucks roll up. And one dumps a tile. And then the next three try to dump the exact same tile. They all get confused. They all go away. It'll happen. Okay, filling in roads takes a little while. All depends on how many trucks you assign to it. More hands don't make better work. But we're going to do sand here and gold here. Now, if you want to have these lovely walls, these lovely walls, these are barriers. You actually access them later in, in the game. And they're under uh, buildings for vehicles. So we can get a barrier, uh, a barrier. Let's build it here so we can actually see what we're doing. A barrier, a barrier corner, a barrier cross, and a barrier T. And that is it for our list. Okay, so let's throw uni at them and then build them really quick. If you're curious, price-wise, it's 10 concrete slabs. They are super, super cheap to make. Yeah, 10 concrete slabs for whichever variety you want. And they're just pretty simple barriers. Now, I will say they're a bit of a pain to put down because they're only one tile in size. So I do recommend you start with a small strip of them and then copy and paste the hell out of them if you really want proper like barrier walls to really keep the riffraff out. We are sand? No way. No. Oh, I need to sign you to there as well. Okay, we're only working on one tower. Uh, where are we up to? Uh, okay, there. And actually, I need this to be finished before I can do the other side. What's the story with the gold? Oh, okay, I have a second store of gold right here. Uh, I'm going to assign you to that tower, give you three trucks, and say empty. Good luck. Okay, so after we have our walls, uh, and then don't forget, even in pause mode, they will affect the truck pathfinding, so you probably want to do these last. And hopefully I have enough concrete slabs to get this done in one hit. Sand stops here. This is gold. Yes, trucks. Good trucks. All right, gold might take another second. But... Uh, no, we've got a couple more tiles. I need these done, boys. I need these done. I need those done. Hurry up. All right, whilst we wait for those, how are we up to over here? Yeah, slow. 
like I said, dumping these in tends to be a little bit slow because it's one of those set and forget projects. Uh, the good news is we don't have any trucks pathfinding through. The good news is because they're sloped in on the sides, trucks can generally just keep driving through them without a problem. So you shouldn't affect traffic. So I want to put our barrier wall here. Yes, and it's much easier to place the whole lot out in a straight line and then uh, paste it into place. And if we just unpause the whole lot, we should have instant barrier wall to give you a nice professional road. And then as soon as we're done with the other side, we'll put you, where do I go? There, to there. Yeah, we've got a few more tiles to go. And yes, I try to put them in this, this, this crater section. That way it's outside the main area by just one tile. And it looks like we're done. So let's copy that. And we're gonna put that there. And throw a unit problem. And unpause the whole lot. And we have a second barrier wall with, you know, from the poor end of the suburb all the way to the rich end of the suburb. But that is the quick and easy way we make roads. Roads have uh, exactly zero zero effect on the, on the trucks. The devs have said that in the future they are considering adding some sort of paved roads that will give some sort of optimizations to the trucks, some sort of speed boost or some such thing. But for the moment, you can build roads. Uh, you have many, many choices of different different infills, I guess you could call it. And we've gone through how to make them very, very quickly. It will just take a little while to get them built. And having the barriers on the edge, can I get a truck please? You, truck. Having the barriers on the edge does give a clear definition of where the trucks can and cannot go i don't know if it's going to help your pathfinding or make it worse but with all that said uh i'm going to ask you that like that i borrowed before can i keep it because i'm pretty happy with the video i'm hoping you're pretty happy with the video as well at the same time if you want to see more tutorial videos like this hopefully with a little bit more depth and a little bit less of a cosmetic appeal by all means click the subscribe button we have done a few in the past with you know optimizing different builds on advanced oil power all that sort of stuff uh also done a couple of smelter builds we should have some upcoming videos on or or, or just have the had the videos on advanced logistics and a few other things always more tutorials on captain mystery along with i am doing a let's play series as well so with all that said thank you guys so much for watching do hope you've enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next video where maybe you've started putting down some golden roads. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Bye.